Oh, uh, see, I definitely didn't hear you. <laughs> uh, losing it, of course, but like uh, just being just fighting back and then losing the game is probably what hurts. But uh, for us, we can't dig ourselves a hole like that. Uh, we're down 17 in the first half, and you know we, we need to play the whole game how we played the second half. Coach kind of echoed some of the things you said about after last game about the free throws and how you know just that huge number one offside. I mean, does that become more and more frustrating? Or uh, I mean, some of them we have to stop fouling. I mean, just getting your arms in there. Uh, some of them are just bad fouls. Um, obviously, some we think are questionable, but um, we can't put ourselves in that position. Marvin hasn't played in a while. Really had a nice game despite the absence. What impressed you the most? Uh, him defensively. I mean, he came in knowing the game plan um, and executed. I mean, his rotations were great tonight. Uh, I think he had a. I think he had you know one of probably his best game of the year. Obviously, it's not always about offense, but he did a hell of a job on the offensive end as well. I'm impressed with you with his the way he fit in and kind of established a little bit of a rhythm, given that he's been out a while. Um, I mean, I think he, like I said, I think he was great tonight, especially for your first game back, um, being asked to do multiple things, uh, you know, with the coverages, especially, you know, guarding a player like Vucevic. I mean, I think Marv did a hell of a job tonight, and you know, we just need to keep, keep building off of it. Of course, we wanted to win, but you know, uh, like I said before, if we if we as a team continue to play like we did in the second half, we could find ourselves winning more games. Pneumonia, uh, you've played with him for a year and a half now. Does he ever, does it ever surprise you how good of a shooter he is and how he can get on like that? Oh, never, never. And I think tonight he still passed up shots that he probably should have taken. But, you know, uh, we know what type of player he is. He's, he's extremely unselfish, but sometimes we do wish that he would just that he would just shoot some of those. And uh, I think he's an underrated playmaker, which is what he does when he when he doesn't shoot it. He gets into playmaking mode. But uh, I think he had a great a great game tonight, but you know we didn't capitalize you know on how well he played. What did you see from the final possession there, that inbound play? Um, yeah, you know, first look was Buddy. Um, they didn't switch it, but he, he stayed attached. Uh, we actually we just worked on it. Um, next one was Harrison at the rim or Belly up top. Uh, I think after I threw it. I saw that it was Trevor's man who that's why it was two guys. Um, but I mean sometimes the ball just doesn't roll your way. Which which ankle did you tweak there in the fourth quarter? Uh I tweaked my ankle. I mean, it's it's just sore. I don't it, it didn't really tweak, but uh, kind of at the end of games it just tightens up a little bit. This is the second game in a row. You've been real close to a triple double. You clearly you're you're trying to do everything you can to help carry these guys through this, right? I'm just trying to help win. Like like you said, um I mean I I get in there, I try to rebound with those guys. Uh, anything I can do to help us win. I know a lot of these haven't gone your guys' way, but just the experience of being in so many, you know, you know, shot to win the game, kind of last possession games. How invaluable is that for your group? Uh, it's definitely good for us uh, just to be able to play in those close games, but I'd rather win by 10. <laughs> but um, uh, definitely going through the experience. Um, obviously, we wish you want it to be on the other side of that. Um, you know, we talk about learning lessons. I'd rather learn a lesson in a win than a loss. What do you see in this getting you guys down in those early holes? You know, kind of uh, we kind of get stagnant. And, um, I think we kind of let that affect our defense, or sometimes if we're getting scored on, then it affects our offense. So those have to be individual things. Uh, we can't let one affect the other. And I think when our when our defensive intensity has stepped up, uh, I feel like our offense has played better. So we just, I mean, those are two individual sides of the court. Obviously, sometimes they do play effect, but you know we have to keep them separate. Are you seeing differences from you guys home and away? I mean, I haven't been on the road in a while. But I mean, did you see a difference within the team? Oh, no, not necessarily. I mean, the same thing happened in Phoenix. We were down 20, came back, but we won that game. So that's not something that I want to see with us. But um, no, nah, I don't see much of a difference uh, playing at home or on the way or on the road. Obviously, you know, we have our fans to draw energy from. But, um, you know, you don't want to have to rely on that, you know, when you're playing. I know this wasn't one of um, Ariza's bigger or better games, but there, there are just a lot of things you guys can learn from him in terms of the know-how defensively. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's a tough guy to screen. He gets through pin downs. He gets his hand on a lot of balls. And, I mean, sometimes shots don't go in. Uh, obviously, when he's making shots, he's helping us even more. But, you know, on the defensive end, he's so solid. He does, you know, so many things well, and it doesn't always end up in a stat sheet. You know, we, we, we record deflections and things like that. And he's always, you know, one of the leaders in it. So um, we can definitely learn, you know, some of those things defensively from him. Is there enough of that? Are you, is there enough guys paying attention to, to those things and trying uh, to learn those, those I mean, things? I think so. Um, you know, we have a hustle board. Uh, you know, it shows how many steals, deflections, blocks, charges, and loose balls that you get. So. You know, guys want to, if you want to win that, you know, regardless of, obviously it's a, 
selfish thing because there's numbers, but that helps us win. Mm -hmm. So, and me and him actually do compete on that. So, but at the end of the day, I mean, that helps our defense. You know, we're getting our, if we're, if we're getting deflections, someone else is grabbing it, uh, it ignites our offense. So, like I said, it's a selfish thing, but it's a good thing to be selfish about. Mm -hmm.